Now I'm kind of apprehensive about making this video, considering that it could give me the label of being a troll, but that's something that I consider something that's worth it. See, a lot of times when I point out something that not a lot of libertarian anarchists and anti-status like me uh, like, or I point out something that they respect, like um, maybe Ayn Rand or Ron Paul, and then I criticize that, I get a lot of dislikes. I think I get a lot of dislikes because they kind of jump to the conclusion that I'm doing something bad for the ideology in general. And that's something I disagree with. Now, I've been a yes man to fringe elements for a lot of years, and I still consider myself a yes man. And um, in his Ning site, which I was in around 2009, I got to uh, see his little links to PayPal funding for a future stateless society. These theoretical libertarian islands, which last couple months have gotten more recognition. And I'm trying to make an evaluation whether not if this is going to work or not. That's not my main interest. My main concern is what kind of island is this? Is this really libertarian? Is this really stateless? Is this really an anarchist? Those are the main concerns that are going through my head right now. I have to make those evaluations. The common myth is that Stateless societies have never formed without private property. There have been anarcho-libertarian stateless societies like modern times, but any stateless societies that actually had a system of capitalists um, weren't anarchists. And that's something that's uh, worth mentioning. Now, the thing is that with this PayPal shit, uh, these guys and visions of that stateless society have me a little bit skeptical. I'm a little bit skeptical whether or not this will actually be a stateless society or United States 2.0. And I'm skeptical of that too because even if that were to be the case, um, I don't think this is going to become a republic. I don't think it's going to have the republic structure. Maybe it'll being the case of minarchy but even then um, I guess I will just prove that minarchism works under capitalism not just any other means furthermore um, what I really am concerned about is if anarchism can work with capitalism. Not just stateless societies can work with capitalism because that's familiar with the more medieval stateless societies but rather I want some voluntary association try to see if that can happen because if we can see that being the case then we can see that there's actually some hope that she can finally work and that's like what I look at when I'm looking at these um, the way this is going to turn out and it's going to be a while until we see how things will work out and things of that nature and I really do hope that it's an actual safe site it's probably not going to be one because I want to see anarcho-capitalism. I want to see if that actually can happen. Not just um, stateless societies with that are anarchists and have private property, or stateless societies that are not anarchists, but they're capitalists and therefore have private property. I want to see the whole shebang. So then I could see how versatile, how dynamic anarchism really happens to be.
And I think that's the biggest thing, personally. Alright, so I'm pretty much done here. I know that's a bad catchphrase, but that's my main concern. I really hope that people are concerned about that too, that they're not just uh, opposed to this or supporting this all the way. I really hope that people are actually thinking, will this be what it claims to be? What will exactly will this thing be? Not just if this is going to work or not.